the quote unquote subprime shakeup, you know, has affected not only direct marketers, it's affected lawyers, it's affected mutual funds, something that the consumers even become very aware of because it's affected their ability to pay for their mortgages. And we've seen a ton of media on it these days. How much of that is real? You know, spin doctoring is not only used on a political level, it's used in media across the board. And I felt overwhelmed by how fast this change came. Questioned myself, did I not see this coming? Although I'm a marketing company, marketing in a niche financial area, I am almost in the world. I have to be that aware of the economy, financial factors, laws. Then I realized it wasn't me <laughs> that missed the boat on this one either. Um, it happened so fast it shook up the biggest banks in the United States biggest property deed collectors, the biggest title agencies. It affects a lot. Um, it also made me realize how greatly I was in a niche that's affected by economy and regulation. In anything you're doing, marketing, advertising, consistency is important. Consistently marketing, consistently advertising, consistently having a budget to do so. I understand because I'm a business owner. At a times, revenue and margins change and your budgets have to change, but there should still remain a budget. And in the mortgage industry, one of the things that's affecting the pipeline of loans coming in right now is because the first thing that these companies pull back on was their marketing budgets. That was the most important thing to have. And also their lack of new product and what to put out and information. Referrals 10, 15 years ago were the main form of mortgage marketing, much like real estate. Whether a real estate agent was referring a customer or a homeowner to a mortgage broker or someone you had closed a loan for once before was referring their friend. And you see very little of that. And at one point it was because it felt not necessary that mailing out data and doing some infomercials was so much more effective. Well, viral marketing is a good example, okay? And this is more and more I'm learning about in the interactive stage of RedClick. Viral is sending information out to one person to ask them to send out to another. And in email marketing, you're at one to 2% response rates. Viral can go as high as 22%. Why? Because we all trust our circles that give us information. That's what makes us friends or family. As the mortgage industry had loans that on paper looked great, but really hurt a homeowner or put them in a bad position later, how do we expect someone to refer based upon that? So instead of just not focusing on referrals, I felt the mortgage industry created product and services that didn't cause the consumer to feel like they should refer them. And no, this is not a whole, I'm not saying the whole industry did this, but the main players in the direct marketing world did not create the right relationship and stay on top of it enough to be able to obtain and see referrals come in. Maybe one loan officer here and there or a small group versus a corporation staying focused on making sure that their integrity was brought across. And it was enough integrity to make a homeowner feel they were treated the right way from start to finish of the process and that the loan they were put into did exactly what it was supposed to, protected them and their home over time. They'll refer you. If from the marketing all the way to the closing of the loan, what happens after that? If it wasn't intended to build a referral, it will not. And you cannot expect people that have marketing campaigns and CRM that do not have referral programs and referral intention built into them to bring referrals. You may have one employee or one loan officer say, I get referrals. That's luck and one person. We can't build companies with 12, 1500 loan officers based upon luck or one person. We have to build them on structure and plans, and strategy, that I found has changed way too much in the mortgage industry to give the consumer a good feeling to pass on that information and to refer that information. A lot of the times, the consumer walks out of a closing of a mortgage and really is still, even at that point, even after their bills are paid off, they're unsure if they made the right decision. That's not an educated consumer. But now they're learning how much profit has been created by those loans. And now it's up to the mortgage industry to, if they're gonna keep their margins the way they are, they're gonna keep these, this high price marketing out there and these high price profit margin loans, then there should be CRM involved and relationship overall involved that still that consumer feels they did what was needed and they deserved 
what was paid. And I don't think that you know, we've reached that point yet, even after the shakeup. I think we're finding some companies are getting there. And I think a lot of people will notice Countrywide Home Loans is a great example, not a client of Ray Clay, but of course someone we watch and they've been really dealing with this on a large level on such a large scale. If we pay attention to them over the next three, four months, you'll see the strength in referral marketing. I mean, people will really see what they're trying to do and how they're trying to do it and how a company with big and deep pockets can do it. And when you have, you're competing against a company with big and deep pockets and you're more boutique, you may not have the ability to do exactly what they do, but the ideas and the concepts are important. And then it's up to you to work with the red clay, to take those ideas and concepts being done by a billion dollar entity and find out how they can be done on a scalable level.